great little sequence there at the end and was able to finish it off in overtime. Uh, Schultz gets his ninth goal early, um, great header. And, you know, we controlled the game early. I don't think they had a shot on goal in the first half. And, um, you know, we just haven't done a good job of putting teams away. Uh, past two games, I felt like we really could have put some teams, both NNU and Billings, away early, and we didn't. Um, we let them hang around, and Billings is a good enough team that they get a couple of chances and they finished one. Um, you know, and, and to their credit, I guess they kept going. Uh, their goalkeeper makes a couple of great saves to keep them in it when it's still 1 0, and, um, and they get a goal on our miscue. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's a win. It keeps us going towards our goals as a conference champion as well as getting into the postseason, but uh, we certainly need to start finishing our chances. Um, if we're going to go where we want to go. Your team's been on an unbelievable tear lately. What has been the, the key to that uh, hot streak versus uh, the early season struggles? You know, it's the, I, I don't want to sound uh, ridiculous here, but it truly is the faith of these young men and their belief system in themselves and in their teammates. Um, it's, it's such a great group to be around and they play hard for each other, they believe in each other and ultimately they believe um, in, in something a lot bigger than this team and, and they lead with their faith. Um, we have great leadership on this team and um, you know, they, they need to take all the credit. They've, they've just picked it up, they've outworked their opponents, they've made them a, a point of trying to outwork every team we've played. And, um, you know, I, I think really that's been the biggest difference is they stuck together. We've started to get some breaks here and there, and uh, I think those breaks have been created with our hard work.